someone that is on the car, the first question they always ask me, how much is that thing? And, uh, and then we start the conversation of the day. Hi, my name is Luigi, uh, and I ride a Vespa GTS 300. Uh, and what I do, I own a pasta shop in New York, in the financial district. Riding since I was 14 years old, so I'm 37 now, so you can do the math, over 20 years. Um, I'm not a new rider, um, but if I have to recommend something to new riders in New York, like uh, I would suggest to start something that you feel comfortable, uh, so you get used to, uh, your body get used to, you know, to the, to the road, and I consider my Vespa as an extension of my body. So that's why I think it's important not to start with a, you know, with a big engine, unless you really feel comfortable too. I do live in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Um, I choose to ride a Vespa because that's uh, basically what, I don't know, for me, it's, since I moved to New York from Italy, uh, Vespa is also is an iconic Italian style uh, way of riding. And I found, found this very cool to ride it in New York. Uh, my hobby. Uh, I have a couple of hobbies. One is travel. I know a lot of people say the same, but I actually do travel a lot in the past two years. So if you name a country or a continent, probably I've been there. Um, another hobby that I have in New York is playing soccer with friends. Uh, I try to play once a week. Uh, and what I get out of that uh, on travel is, you know, you, you, you meet new people. And when I travel, I always try to rent uh, two wheels because it's a totally different experience. Uh, from Thailand to Hawaii, if I have to go, I always look to, to rent the two wheels. Uh, with the soccer, what I get is, you know, stay together with friends, um, exercise and have fun. Does my bike have an influence of my hobby? Uh, yes, because one of my, I will say, epic travel uh, trip uh, was riding the entire Route 66 on my Vespa, the 300, and, and that gave me a totally different feeling of, of, of doing the, you know, being on the road. Uh, when you travel on a car, I feel like you're you're sitting comfortable. When you travel on a two wheels, like you you feel you feel you feel free. It's like sort of a way of flying. You know, it's, it's a it's a different experience. If it's cold, you feel it on your skin. If it's hot, you feel it on your skin. Uh, so you feel more what's around you. You're more aware of the environment. So this is not my first bike. Um, even though I recommend to everyone at least to try it and see how you feel with your first bike. Uh, this is actually my third Vespa in the last 10 years in New York. Uh, and about, and I add another two motorbike when I was back in Italy so my fifth bike um, I use my bike for everything I use my bike to to go to work to commune uh, I use it for you know sometimes I just want to ride so I take my bike and I ride upstate um, <clears throat> what are some of the awesome things that you encounter when you ride in New York uh, <clears throat> with my bike uh, it's always fun when I stop at a traffic light not, I would say 50% of the time I start to have a conversation with someone that is on the car. The first question they always ask me, how much is that thing? And, uh, and then we start the conversation of the day. Uh, that's really fun. I feel like, you know, it's a way, I'm not saying it's a way of meeting new people, but it's a good way of starting your day. You know, when you wish someone on the street, hey, have a nice day. So I think I say to people at least 10 times between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. when I arrive. So that's fun. My ride has a name. Uh, the name is Fufu. Uh, Fufu comes from, because we, my partner has a car. Her car name is Fifi. So we decide to name my, my Vespa Fufu. Uh, so that, that has a name. If I have to suggest, uh, I think all New Yorkers at least they should try to be on two wheels once in their life and, and see what they feel. If they feel comfortable of riding in New York, and I think it's very, 
comfortable to ride in New York better than any other city that I ride in my life, uh, I'll suggest to try it, try it out. Feel free, you feel more free. So that's what I will say to New Yorkers. Uh, go slow, uh, always wear your helmet. There's some, states, there's some states in US that you don't have to, but I suggest always to ride your helmet. And yeah, and that's it, and have fun.